Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so it is time for the weekly menu plan for next week. And I do have a Costco and Trader Joe's haul to add into this video. Keeping it easy for the next couple weeks, my friends, because life is moving fast. Um, we've got so much going on the next couple weeks. Um, got a lot going on this coming weekend. Next weekend, we're going to be down in Maryland for the um, track conference championships. And then the following weekend, we're going to be down in Maryland for a long weekend for graduation. So, and then we've got baptisms. We've got lots of stuff. So I am keeping the menu so simple this month and just stuff I know I can make that's point friendly because we have a lot of events and a lot of eating out. So it's going to be a tough month that way. Um, that being said, as always, if you would like a blank copy of my menu planner, just go right over to my website, jonespointedplate.com. Click on the free printables link and there's a whole bunch of stuff you can print out absolutely free. Um, bunch of different menu planners, all kind of stuff. Hopefully, this the website will be updated by tomorrow morning. We have Pinochle tonight and I have to be at the church bright and early tomorrow morning. Um, it is our church yard sale, so it'll get updated eventually this weekend at some point. So anyway, I am going to turn you around and I am going to show you what we are making for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner this week. Got a lot of going out this week, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so for breakfast, we're gonna have on Sunday, eggs, Canadian bacon, and toast. I might even ditch the toast, it depends um staying extremely low point now it is the breakfast at church that morning but i am not going to go um because it'll be a higher point for me i am just going to stay here and make my own breakfast monday um an oatmeal bowl but instead of being a chunky monkey i'm just going to do blueberries in it tuesday eggs potatoes and sausage wednesday a german pancake with berry sauce Thursday, single serve French toast. Friday, guac toast and eggs. Saturday, we'll be packed and eaten in the car because we will head, be heading down to Maryland. So I'm gonna make breakfast sandwiches. For lunches next week, Sunday, you know we never eat lunch. Monday, an open face tuna sandwich with vegetables and fruit. Tuesday, a smoothie. Wednesday, bacon wrapped chicken bites with veggies and fruit. Thursday, I have some vegetable soup in the freezer. I'm gonna pull one of those out. Friday, a salad and Saturday, we will be in Maryland. So I am gonna pack a lunch to eat at the track meet. It'll be a picky plate bento box style, you know, whatever we feel like um, and whatever I have laying around the house. So then for dinners on Sunday, we are going down the shore on Sunday to get our season beach tags. And we are going to have our anniversary dinner finally. Um, we are going into Summers Point to go to a restaurant called The Crab Trap. It's all seafood. I will do well there because it is seafood. I will have a beautiful piece of fish or something like that. Not in the least bit worried, but I probably will treat myself to some lobster bisque because theirs is amazing. So that's where all my points will go. Monday, we're going to have creamy Dijon salmon with just boiled potatoes and a vegetable. Tuesday, a taco pizza. I don't have a recipe for this. I, I just, whatever you put on a taco, I put on a pizza crust and bake it. Um, you know, meat, we don't do refried beans. We can do refried beans and then meat and then cheese and then bake it and then top it with all your fresh toppings. Wednesday, pork chops with a garlic cream sauce served with mashed potatoes and a vegetable. Thursday, oh, I forgot points on all this stuff. Okay, well, you'll see them on the website. Thursday is gonna be a high point dinner. Beef stroganoff served over noodles with a vegetable. I believe the beef stroganoff is either eight or nine points, but it's delicious, I love it, and I fit it in. Friday will be Pinochle at my brother's. And then Saturday, we will be away for track championships. And we will be taking the boys out to dinner. So we'll work that in. And as always, just regular exercise, 
for next week. So that is our very basic, very simple menu for breakfast, lunch, and for dinner to keep us satisfied, keep our bodies fueled, and keep us on plan. We're gonna get right into those little grocery hauls. Okay, we're gonna start with Costco, and I have prices, so just um, bear with me. So I got a 10 pound box of the Sunkissed nasal, Navel Oranges. They were $14.39. And then I got a bunch of bananas, it is three pounds and they were $1.99. We got some asparagus. It is a two pound, I believe, two and a quarter pound bag. And that actually went up in price. It used to be $5.99, now it is $6.99. We got a, how big is this? Two pound bag of the organic broccoli florets. And that was $5.99. We got a two pound bag of green beans and they are $4.99. This killed me. An 18 ounce thing of blueberries. I don't buy organic everything. I do when I can, but when I can't, I don't. Berries is one thing I really do try to buy organic because berries is one of the things, especially strawberries, that is sprayed the most with pesticides. This 18 ounce container was $9.99. Yeah, killed me, but we enjoy them, we'll eat them. Then I got some Campari tomatoes, that was $6.99 for two pounds. And then our favorite little potatoes, the little com little potato company, they were six ninety nine, and we really enjoy them. They're so quick to cook. They make great little crispy smashed potatoes and just great little parsley potatoes. We love them. Then I got a big bag of the sweet kale chop salad. We absolutely love this. It is five points for a cup if you use all of their add-ins and their dressing, which we don't use all of it, so we don't charge a whole five points for it, but it is so delicious. And then some grapes. The grapes were, where are the grapes on my list? They were $5.79 for the grapes. And then we got some frozen blueberries. Uh, just to keep in the freezer, because those 18 ounces aren't going to last long, especially because the chickens love them too. And these were $8.99 for those. And then out of the produce, I did end up buying the Kirkland brand of the um, freezer bags, the vacuum bags. I'm going to give them a try. It was $20, and you get 50 pre-cut one quart bags, four large of the 18, I'm sorry, the 11 inch rolls and three rolls of the eight inch for 20 bucks. They had the Food Saver brand. They were $40 for a little bit less. So I figure for 20 bucks, we can try them. If we hate them, I didn't, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, of course, you know, we had to get a rotisserie chicken and we had to pick on it already because we were a little bit hungry. Then I picked up two things of maple syrup. I have some in on the shelf downstairs, but this is good for well over a year. And I just, I like to stock up because it's still $11.49 and that's been the price and I'm afraid it's gonna hike. Picked up some almond butter. We're out of the almond butter that we had made fresh in Lancaster. And the almond butter was, Six ninety nine for twenty seven ounces. I really wanted the the mixed nut butter with the chia seeds or the flax seeds and all, but they didn't have it. Then we got two things of the peanut butter. I like this peanut butter; it's very good. And there's just two ingredients: peanuts and sea salt. I don't like when peanut butter has sugar in it or any kind of palm oil or anything. We try to stay away from that. So we found that we really like this brand and this was $9.99 for the two big things. Um, each one of them are 28 ounces. 
Forgot to check sugar before we left, so I'm not sure if I needed this or not. So I only got one 10 pound bag of this. Um, at Christmas, I bought 50 pounds of sugar because you know you use it a lot at Christmas time. And I'm still working through that. I just wasn't sure how much I had left. And the price on this, I'm not seeing it on my list. Oh, there it is, $7.99, which I think is a fantastic price. And then we got some more Jones's Uncured Canadian Bacon. I really do enjoy this on a breakfast sandwich or just with my eggs. And this is $9.99. I do believe the price of this went up. And then Kerrygold Butter was on sale. I was thrilled with that. It is two pounds total. And it is... It was on sale for, it's normally $12 and it was $4 off. So, or actually $3.60 off. So it was $8.40, which is a really good price for the Kerrygold butter. It is absolutely delicious. It is made from grass-fed cows and you can really taste the difference. It's delicious. I don't bake with it or anything. We just save it for when we're like spreading it on an English muffin or a piece of toast or something because, yeah, it's that good. And then I picked up, if you remember the last trip, I picked this up to give it a try because they stopped carrying the Lincanto and they have the Whole Earth and I really, really enjoyed this. Um, dare say, I may like it a tiny little bit more than the Lincanto. And oh my goodness, the price is definitely right. It is a two pound bag for $8.99, which is fantastic, so. Picked up two of those. And then last but not least, we picked up this barbecue sauce. Um, barbecue season is coming and this looked really good. I know it is a great brand. I know they make a lot of like barbecue spices and everything and um, really great ingredients in this. No corn syrup and things like that in it. So I'm anxious to give that a try. And that is it for Costco. So, my, oh, and I did pick up two things of pomegranate juice, but they're not ours. They are for my sister-in-law. Oh, and we did pick up two articles of clothing. Let me see if I can turn you around and show you. So Doug picked up this really nice polo shirt. It's like the, um, you know, the sport kind. I don't know what you call that. The wicking material. Let me see. Dry Luxe. He would have gotten a couple more, but it was almost impossible to find smalls. One of the signs, I forget what brand it was, even said medium to extra, extra large. And under it, it said no small. And that's what he needs. So pick that up. And then I picked up this t-shirt dress. It's really cute. It's just a plain, here, Doug, hold that up. It is just a plain black like t-shirt dress and it's got the little knot detailing there. I picked up a medium. I compared the small and the medium and the small was like really, really tiny. So I'm hoping this fits me nicely. Um, I had a large in my hand and Doug said, no, it was too big. So we'll see. Sometimes I really have trouble judging. So there is our Costco haul. And like I said, now $14 of it was my sister-in-law's. So our total came to $243.58. So let's jump right into Trader Joe's. Oh, Doug just tried on his shirt. There you go. Just like me yesterday, he's modeling his shirt. And he's looking quite, um, yeah. yeah with his boots and his high black socks and his uh, work shorts there. He's heading, getting ready to head out to the garden. Okay, here is what we got at Trader Joe's. We stopped there because I wanted to get some strawberries. So the strawberries for one pound was $4.99 for the organic. And we enjoyed these so much last time, the carrots of many colors, oh, so fun. And the babies loved them too. They just thought they were so cool. And these were, I'm looking on my list, sorry, $2.79, which I think is a pretty great deal 
for something like that. And then we picked up the radishes of many colors. They were $3.29. Then I saw these and could not put the could not leave could not leave them in the store. They're so stinking cute. Look at these. Teeny tiny tomatoes. They are so little. So I just thought they were adorable. They were only $1.49. And then we got one English cu English cucumber. Yes, organic English cucumber. That was two forty nine. Some organic gala apples, and they were like three fifty altogether. And that was it for produce. Then I saw this. And I looked at the ingredients and it's sweetened with real sugar and stevia. And it looked really, I don't know, I just, maybe because it's so warm here today, um, it just looks so good. And it is 40 calories, eight grams of sugar, and it comes out to two points for WW. Um, but I figure we like the Arnold Palmer, the iced tea mixed with the lemonade. So I won't be using a whole eight ounces at one time. I'll probably be using like two ounces maybe in a little bit of unsweetened iced tea. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it. So I probably, if I use a half a cup, it's only going to be one point. And, you know, sometimes, honestly, I get tired of water. And I get tired of plain unsweetened iced tea, so I think this will be fun. I only bought one because I want to try it, but I will definitely be buying more if we like it. Doug loved these honey wheat pretzel sticks that he bought last time we were there, so we got another bag of those. We got some Jarlsberg Swiss for our burgers and also for sliders um, for Pinochle. Of course, you can't go to Trader Joe's without getting a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And then I picked up these because we love to have these in the freezer. They are the half-baked Ciabattini rolls. They're smaller than regular um, rolls, and they are, I think, four points. They're perfect for portion control. Now, we don't use them as much in the summer as we do in the winter when we have soups and stuff, but I picked up two bags just to toss in the freezer because they do make a nice sandwich bun and things like that. So, got those. And then picked up some burger buns. I really wanted to have a chance to make them today, but that wasn't happening. It just, time got away from me. So we'll only, there's six in here. There's only, we'll only use two today. So they're nice to have in the freezer for when I do not have a chance to make my buns. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you the prices. The burger buns were $2.29. The half baked are $1.99 each. The honey wheat pretzels are $2.29. And the lemonade was $3.29. So that is our little tiny Trader Joe's haul. So friends, there you have it. That is our menu for next week. I'm really excited about that beef stroganoff. It's beef stroganoff and you can do it two different ways. You can either do it in the Instant Pot or you can do it on the stove. I haven't decided yet how I wanna do it. I think probably on the stove because I'm gonna use um, beef tenderloin tips. And that's such a great cut of meat that I don't want it to get funny in the instant pot. So I think I'm going to do it on the stove top. So I am really looking forward to that one. Also, it's about time for us to um, film another Q and A video. So if you have any questions for me or for Doug or for Andrew or for Adam, leave them in the comments below and we will gather them all. And in the next couple weeks, we will film a Q and A video. We have a lot of fun with those and we get so many questions through email and comments and everything that it's fun to just do them all at the same time because so many of you have so many of the same questions. So any questions you have about weight loss, about life, about Doug's journey with the diaconate, the boy's journey with school, anything, just leave it in the comments below, email it to me, whatever works for you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found something on this menu that may spark some interest. 
And let me know in the comments below if you're making anything really awesome this week. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, click on the bell, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video, which is several times a week. And if you know someone that can benefit by from this video, please feel free to share it. And as always, I appreciate you so much spending a little bit of time with me and taking time out of your busy day to support me and my channel. So have a fantastic Friday, and I will see you in my weekend vlog, my friends.